yeah guys uh, very good evening to all of you i hope you are, you are enjoying the bi sessions now i have received actually uh, two questions from two different students and i'm going to answer both these questions in this lecture though the question number one i have already answered somewhere in my uh, training but again i'm going to do that because one of you is facing a problem how to sort actually this the month how to sort the data uh, month wise because you see this is a simple visualization i have created and here we don't have the sorting if you go and click on this and you try to sort the data you know like let's say you want to sort the data month month wise so you click on the month but the problem is then this will be sorted in this way if you use the descending order right and if you try to sort the data using the ascending system then what will happen instead of the january a alphabet will come first so how to sort this problem and the second question is that what do you mean by what is the difference between close and apply uh, close and apply now this is something question number two i think i haven't talked about it in detail so let me give you answer to both these questions okay now you see that if you're not able to do sort this so you what what you're doing is uh, basically you are you know you're not doing anything wrong because for this we have to set up the data in a different way we have to do some changes in our data now this uh, questions are pretty simple so just go and watch this lecture you will not be able to find out the file with this because uh, there's nothing you know we are going to uh, special doing in this so just go and see the uh, steps and then implement that so let's quickly go in the this called your table now what happens uh, you have here the month jan uh, feb and alphabetically you know if we want to sort we have to go in the power query so click on the power query transform data and we need to create here the sequence one two three four five okay now in this also we will have one issue which i'll tell you so first of all we simply want to create the index column from here from one okay click on this and now you see that you have created this index so basically we can sort now the month based on the index and you know these indexes are the numbers so th that's why uh, we should be able to uh, you know when we say to the power bi that sort the month based on this index power bi vis uh, visualization should be able to sort out so, uh, give us these you know the months in the sorting order let's quickly go in the home tab and let's click on the close and apply this is a second question what do you mean by apply close and all this so let me click on close and apply okay now when you click on this close and apply okay you see what will happen here now you see i have got here the index right created now the next time you select the month and then you know when you select the month you have this column tool activated so click on this sort by okay and say that i want to sort this by the index name okay when you click on the index this is the prompt you will get and this is what my student was saying that i don't know why he's he's following my steps but you know he he's not able to do this we can't sort the month by the index read the message carefully there can't be more than one value in the index for the same value in month what do you mean by that you see you can sort this based on the index only if each of these categories whatever you are choosing in this case it's month each of the category will have a unique number allocated to it what i mean to say if you click any of the month april ideally april should have one number which is called four isn't it or, or whatever let's say whatever but the point is april has so many different numbers and this is happening obviously because index is you know going all the way down to your last uh, from the first row to the last row now, now how you can sort out this issue because they say that april should be given one unique number everywhere only then we will be able to sort the data right so let's go back to the power query so to sort out this issue if you want to do you know this in the power query you have to go and use the if statement or you can do this in excel also it's up to you i don't know if because if your data is coming from excel you can do the changes in excel and you can refresh but we will go and do this in the power query itself okay now power query is a different topic right i hope you have seen my power query tutorials this is not on the power query but still we have to do this so i'm explaining you add column and say condition column so this is where we actually start writing all the if functions okay so th this this is your window so first new name is whatever name you want to give it's up to you i'll keep this as it is so quickly let's go and select the month 
okay and then add this if condition actually 12 times okay so let me keep on clicking here this is how it is and let me just pause the video but first month equals to let's say jan make sure you are writing the correct case very important it should be one then again in the else if if the month is equals to fib it should be two so for me my data first alphabet is always capital so this is how we will do it see this and let's see that if we will have some issue then we'll handle it okay so you see that i have created all these if functions you don't need to find write anything in the else right so all these numbers will be there just make sure you write the correct um, this use the correct case okay let's click on okay and let's see that now what happens so this way now everywhere in your data for every jan there will be a number called one previously it was like one two three four five you can see index is still there so yes i can remove this if you want but this is not going to harm you you know but you know we can remove this so i just say that right click and say i don't want this uh, the index column so i just delete it okay so finally this custom header is there now when you go here and you say close and apply now let us try to sort the data again okay now once i'm done with this let's see that okay so now you see that the data is sorted now as i speak with you i see that there is a fib which actually is in small letter right i never planned for this so now let's sort out this so click on this so i have here the fib in the small letters right that's quite strange actually so either i do the changes in the if um because i don't see anywhere uh, you know the capital f okay no problem so anyways clear off the filter now what do you want to do guys you have to see okay for example what i'm saying you can go in the transform data and you can replace small f with capital f okay or you can go in your f function you know you go here and say that click on this and simply change your uh, capital f to small f in the condition right over here and the things will work right now maybe you say that no i don't want this because for me every alphabet is capital and it's important right so what we can do now you see your if is capturing your if is capturing uh, this condition this step is using the previous step right so i click on this and i now i now actually want to insert one new step which actually is right click here and say that you know i want to actually replace uh, the values and i want to replace this insert the step before this uh, i mean before additional uh, added conditional column right so insert this and now the step will be you know inserted where i'll say that you know this fib actually should be fib okay so when i click okay see what will happen you see the step is inserted after the added index and before the conditional column now i guess if i click on this i should be able to see now for the fib you know if i click on the fib you see that the fib is actually should shows the right way yeah perfect okay so we can do this so i click on this again close and apply now this fib should be capital f okay let's see that it's refreshing okay okay let's wait yeah perfect right now we will go and sort the data now before i go and sort the data i realized this number is not coming in the number format numeric format data type this means if you do the sorting you won't find any sorting in the visualization very very important step because this is a text everything is moved on the left side you know so first i click on this and i make sure that this actually in the you know we should have this the data type as number okay so how are we going to uh, change this to uh, this uh, the data type to uh, to the number well you can do this in the power query you can do this in the power query but i guess uh, if i go in the column tool i can do this over here also let me see that so we just say that it's a whole number actually okay with this data type change your data will be sorted differently yeah i'm okay with that right we want to sort the data based on the numbers so let's see that if we have the changes here you see finally the number is aligned now you will select your you know that required field called month and then you go in the column tool you see this is a month right and data type is text correct 
Now we click on the sort by column and I use this custom one. Where is the custom? Yeah, this one, right? So the moment I do that sorting, it's working on it. The moment I, you know, jump back to my visual, uh, visualization, I should be able to see the sorted month. Wow, fantastic, right? So here we saw that there were some challenges came and we sorted out, beautiful. Now let's go back to the, the second question. Now in the second question, I was asked that what happens, you know, about these options if you go in the transform data and you close or you apply right you see first of all close and apply we all know if you do any changes and you say close and apply so power query window will be closed and changes will be applied on the bi right now let's say what i do is i create here a column i create here index column which starts from let's say some number okay so let's start this 200 increment has to be two for example i click ok right so when you click OK, you see you have this number. Now maybe you are adding here a lot of steps and you are doing some, you know, uh, kind of uh, analysis. And finally you said that, okay, I don't want this now. It's okay, right? So instead of removing the steps, if I, let's say, simply say that close, then what will happen, those changes will not be saved. So I say close. And once you are, you know, you said that you are out of this, okay, see that, this will ask you, do you want to discard the changes or apply? If you apply, then that change which you did not do there, which you did not save, that will be saved. Now I say, no, I don't want that. So I say discard, okay? So this means that step which you did, that will not be shown here. Look at this now. Make sense, right? So let's go back here. However, BI still gives you one chance, you know, if you, do not i mean uh, if you do not use this uh, close and save uh, this still ask you that would you like to apply the changes right so you don't have to go back you can say apply the changes you know and then the changes will be saved now you have seen the first thing right now what about the another one apply now apply means that if i again let's say add the column or anything you do it doesn't matter okay so i say that okay Let's say this is the column I have, you know, applied. Now, let's say I'm still working on this, okay? And I say that home and I say that apply, okay? So when you say apply, what happens, you are not going to be losing this window, right? You will still be on the Power Query window and your changes will also be saved, okay? And at the same time, if you go in the BI over here, right? You see that that step is also showing because you have actually said apply, right? So this step is actually saved. So if you come back to the BI and if you click on this, you find there that, you know, this starts with zero. You're getting the point, okay, this way. So if I go back here, let's say in the visualization and I try to, let's say, you know, I create a number. For example, I now like to use this index. I go and create the index over here in this way. Okay, let's say I create here um, some sort of uh, field, maybe uh, let's say I create here the age group, okay, and uh, um, I click on this index and I say that don't summarize, for example, you see that I can use this, right, however, you are still in the Power Query window. Right, so this is something I actually personally on personal front, I tell you, I never use this. I just, you know, when we work on the Power Query, if we have to do some changes, we do the changes there and we immediately exit from that. Okay. But let's say you want to apply changes, you want to see how the visualization is there. So simultaneously, you can work on this also, you know, and if let's say by chance you are, you are, you know, you don't want that, obviously you can remove the steps from here also. Okay. Close and apply. We all know what, what does it do, right? This is something uh, we always 99% time. This is what we use close and apply. Close this, save the changes automatically and apply this. Okay. So let me know guys, if you have still have any more doubts, you know, I'm always there to assist you. I hope that uh, this has definitely cleared every, every doubt with regards to these questions. Thank you so much.